After being consumed by a bitter political chaos, Myanmar is facing rapid rise in COVID-19 infections amid a shortage in oxygen supplies. The military seized power in February this year, just a week after first jabs were given to health workers. Now, COVID-19 cases were on the decline before the takeover. After the armed forces seized control of the nation, doctors led what they called a civil disobedience movement to protest over the takeover. Since then, the military has attacked and arrested and even killed doctors and other medical professionals. Military forces have occupied public hospitals, forcing practitioners to go underground, treating wounded protesters in houses of worship and uh, houses of worship and private homes, even alleyways. The World Health Organization has documented over 240 attacks on healthcare professionals, leading to dozens of injuries. A watchdog group called Insecurity Insight has counted at least 12 deaths of healthcare professionals in Myanmar. Now the country is struggling to secure enough oxygen supply for its residents. Photos and news stories have emerged showing people lining up to buy oxygen in the city of Calais in the northwestern region. This shows an image of Myanmar's healthcare reality. One of the world's weakest healthcare systems is on its knees. Residents of Myanmar's two biggest cities, that is Yangon and Mandalay, are also having trouble finding oxygen supplies. Myanmar's new leader, Senior General Minong Ling, had ordered oxygen plants to work at full capacity last week. The industrial oxygen suppliers have been instructed to meet the needs of these patients. Investment and Foreign Trade Minister Ong Nang Hu followed up on Saturday with a fresh announcement. It said that the government is dropping all duties and licensing requirements for the import of oxygen concentrators and devices that generate oxygen. Now, the Health Ministry of Myanmar has reported a record of over 4,000 new cases, making the total infection count to over 180,000. And 71 deaths have been recorded in the last 24 hours, bringing the total death toll now to over 3,700. The number of tested people found to be infected is hovering around 25% at this point, and the numbers are rising at an alarming rate. The date... The data on vaccination is not very clear in Myanmar. However, it appears that as of last month, only 3.5 million doses have been administered to the country's 55 million people, which means a maximum of 3.2% of the population are fully vaccinated with two doses. According to aid group Relief International, Myanmar's major challenges are a lack of adequate screening, testing capacity and availability of vaccines. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.